All right, so I'm doing things a little bit differently, mostly because it's super cold outside right now. It's and windy. in the garage, huh? It's windy. And it's windy. And in the garage, it's really cold. And more because Lila wants to go there with us. She's gonna get sick if she goes, it's way too cold. So I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I used to do this um, when I worked out at home when I first started, minus the accurate weights because I used to hold a 20 pound and a 25 pound and then kind of switch them out. Um, so I'm gonna do this. It's, it burns a lot of calories, it does engage the muscle good. Uh, if you always do it, you may not, and your, and your goal is to bulk, you may not um, advance as much. Um, but it's a cool workout to add in every now and then. I'm kind of excited because it does kick my butt. It's like somewhat cardio-ish because of all the movement that you're doing. I suck at that. <laughs> I suck at all cardio. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit excited. I like to switch it up every now and then. Um, so because of the cold, I'm switching it up. shoulders on fire I built up my body everywhere I toned everything literally from doing squats heavy weighted squats okay I'll, I'll tell you now though if your goal is to build a butt you need to eat a lot for this because this burns a lot of calories if I were to start doing this I'd probably lean pretty well um, but keep that in mind because if anything your butt is gonna shrink if you work this hard like if you're eating at a deficit and you're working out this hard it's gonna get smaller it'll tone you'll lose cellulite but if the goal is for it to get bigger, you gotta make sure you're eating enough. Cause this engages everything. Seriously, my arms are burning, my upper back is burning, everything from the waist down is burning, my core. Whew, that was a good set though.
think I'm lucky right now. Oh my God. The only thing I've accomplished is squats. I have a lot more to do. <laughs> the ground is cold, so it feels so good. Not like carpet. <laughs> Oftentimes I tell hubby, man, I wish I knew what I know now back then because had I just increased my calories, I would have never had to bulk and go through everything I went through. I would have been making gains, but working out like this and eating so little, I just kept getting smaller. <laughs> younger self was crazy. I don't know how I did this. And they say you can't get a good workout at home. Jeez, you can transform your body at home. Just need a couple dumbbells and not even this many. I just have a lot. <laughs> no weight set because it is still effective if you keep it as a finisher just because you can't do any more with weights doesn't mean you can't engage that muscle without weights and keep pushing it a little further even if it's only like three or four reps oh so now it's time to engage those skinny quads I have that everyone says I have skinny legs but a big butt and that's why it's fake <laughs> skinny legs what I used to have was skinny legs this is a major improvement <laughs> What you can do differently to engage them because if you do stand still lunges it's good but it doesn't engage as much you can do elevated lunges also known as bulgarian squat to other people Ugh. And I've used the 
sofa for that too. So use the sofa if you were upstairs. Each, which is kind of the same thing. It just feels longer that way. I'm disproportionate, unproportionate. Which one is it? Unproportionate or disproportionate? <laughs> it's like, no, I am not. I got a boob job to proportionate myself. But no, my legs, my butt, I grew them together at the same time. And my arms. And my arms. They're not skinny. So I grew everything at the same time. Yes, my legs are still lean, uh, but as opposed to what they looked like, I mean, you guys saw the transformation video. So now it's time to eat. We're having sloppy joes. And this is the important part because girls feel like, man, I had such a good workout. I burned so many calories. And then they don't want to eat, obviously. Because then they're like, well, I'm going to eat all the calories I burned. But it's differently. You know, I mean, it, it works differently. You're not just replacing the calories you burn. You're burning bad fat. And you're refeeding your body so that it can do what you want it to do and perform properly. So if I decided not to eat, um, I would probably pay the consequences eventually because I'd be under eating, hurting my metabolism. Um, so in this case, it's very important to eat. Like a workout like that, like I think I'm gonna be really tired because my younger self, which wasn't that young, but my younger self was crazier um, and I did some crazy stuff and worked out really, really hard. Um, so now I know I gotta eat a lot after that workout. <laughs> So guys, I wanted to warn you, I have a hater who loves me, like he loves me. Um, I've blocked him several times on YouTube and he makes new accounts daily, writes essays, body shaming me, telling me I'm disgusting, I'm a horrible person, I'm a narcissist. Everything you can think of, he kind of just puts it in a little essay for me. Lately, he's been commenting on other people's posts. Um, 
because once you block and hide a user, he's still able to watch your videos and comment on other people's things as long as he's not commenting directly on your video. Um, he's also my little thumbs down guy. <laughs> um, but I wanted to kind of put it out there because he is now harassing you guys and I want to make you guys aware of this. Um, you can report him, respond to him. I prefer you not respond to him because he's a waste of your time. Um, he will do this daily, no matter what, no matter if he gets blocked. This is like a daily ritual for him. Um, but I wanted to address something. He went around telling people stop watching her YouTube channels because that's how she bought her house, how she buys all her furniture. You have to be really small minded and kind of dumb to think that a thousand views on YouTube make me money or 18,000 people. You have to have millions of followers to be rich, a rich YouTuber. You guys want to know how much money I make? I will be bluntly truthful with you guys. I make about 180 to $200 a month because of the ads that get posted on my my videos, that doesn't even pay my phone bill. And I think I've earned that. You know, if I'm gonna make a video a day, the least I can make is a little bit of income from it, right? So for him to be like, I bought a house with $200 a month, be realistic, dude. Educate yourself. There are programs that actually tell you how much a person, not programs, like websites that tell you how much a person is making on YouTube. And if I ever do grow to the thousands or to the millions, I've earned it, period. You know, so at that point, am I judging you how you're making your money? You know, no, I'm making my money because I'm giving content and it's not pointless content, it's educational, like 90% of it. I try to be entertaining, but I think I just go better with education. <laughs> you know, no matter what, we try to teach something. Um, I don't know if we're as entertaining, but the, every video has value to it. And if it doesn't, I'm very like disappointed. I'm like, we should have done better. We should have given them more, you know? So I kind of wanted to say, talk about that too, because if you think I'm being rich because of these videos, trust me, I want to kind of stop them because it's a lot of work and it's not because like I enjoy putting content out there for you guys it's just becoming a lot of work but I am not making a lot of money on this well, we, also enjoy it too. we do enjoy it and that's what makes it hard to stop you know I enjoy it but it does get overwhelming and then I kind of want to stop but then it's like but like I've created a relationship with so many people and, and we comment regularly so I feel like I know them um, so I do really really enjoy it but don't think I make a lot of money. When I have a million people, yes, guys, I'll probably be making a lot of money on YouTube. But like I said, I earned it at that point. Um, if it's that easy, go ahead. And it, yeah, if it was that easy, why isn't everyone just uploading videos to YouTube and making a shit ton of money? Because it's not that easy and that's not how it works. You really think YouTube just pays you millions of dollars? And come on, be realistic. Unless you're a somebody, I'm not somebody like I am but I'm not you're not making that much money so I wanted to address that because he's going around telling everybody oh by watching her you guys are what's making her her house no you know what is making this house my career me being a certified personal trainer working with thousands of girls if I didn't know what I was doing you think I would have a client base do you think people would keep coming to me no, but they do. Why? Because I'm actually educated in the matter. This is my career. This is my livelihood. You know, the social media comes with it because I chose to make it come with it, you know? So I'm here trying to change lives and he's a little troll who's just body shaming. I mean, the things he says are pretty disgusting. That's why I would say don't even pay him any attention because he's probably saved a couple essays and just copies and pastes them. Um, so I would say not to fight him. Just report his comment or whatever you want to do. If I catch it, I will take care of it. <laughs> um, I'm pretty good about that, actually. But I just kind of wanted to talk about that because it, it really got me angry that he sat there thinking that I make so much money while he and everybody else has to work so hard and wake up in the morning. Dude, if you don't like your job, that's your problem. It's not like this happened out of nowhere. I worked at Walgreens full time. I worked at Alta as a manager, treated like shit. I worked at Victoria's Secret. I, I did not like, oh, this is, you know, I was born and then, and then I got successful just like that. No, everybody gets to where they want to get in life because they push to get there. Um, everyone has their own struggles. And everyone has their own struggles. I didn't let mine hold me back. If I told you my, my terrible past, you would probably be like, you deserve to have a shitty life. Like if you, if you didn't want to move forward, it's okay. It's understandable. But no, 
I got out of that shitty life and made a better life for myself. And another disturbing thing is so many guys lately have been body shaming me and being totally rude. Like, I kind of expect it from girls. Like, it's not acceptable, but I expect it. All these guys, I've got to wonder, like, what is it exactly? Are you upset I squat more than you? <laughs> it's got to be that. I mean, I mean, I don't get it. Like, why don't you just go do your thing? If you hate me so much, just go do your thing and leave me alone. Who is forcing channel. you to watch my videos? Nobody. You don't want to watch them? Don't tune in. It's that simple. But to tune in every day and every day try to body shame me? Like, dude, you're the issue, not me. And as annoying as it is, don't worry guys, I'm not going to stop vlogging because of these couple idiots. Um, I just wanted to make you aware and clear it up if you thought I was making a ton of money from you guys, which I'm not. Um, and kind of just, I don't know, maybe shake it off. Maybe I needed this. Maybe they needed to hear it because... I mean, who's being the creep? Who's being the weirdo in this case? Somebody who tunes in daily, a hater who tunes in daily, has notifications probably set up because, damn, you're on that. I get a dislike within seconds of putting a video up. So it's like, you have to, you have to like reflect and see that there is something really wrong with the fact that you hate me so much. Like, it is definitely a reflection of yourself, something you're very upset about in your life, your situation. Fix it. Don't be hating on me. I'm going to keep growing. As you can see, I'm still growing because I work very hard for it. You're going to stay in the same situation. Trolling. He loves you. He loves me. <laughs> Sickenly enough, he loves me because, damn, that kind of attention. Whew. And, you know, because of the topic, I think it's important to ask you guys, what do you get out of my channel? When you watch it, do you actually get something? Do you learn something? Are you entertained? Um, let me know, you know, because I'm always trying to make helpful videos for you guys. Another thing you guys have been asking for Q and A's because I used to do that in Snapchat for those of you that followed me like way back then. Um, let me know if you guys want to do that and then I'll post a photo and you guys can ask personal fitness questions, whatever you want. Um, and then I'll do a Q and A vlog just for that. Um, but it would be nice to hear what you guys have to say, what you guys think about my vlog, seeing it in a different light because when we produce it, we're very big critics. Um, and we tried to show as much as possible in them, but sometimes we're not as creative, forgive us. But let us know what you guys think. So, sorry to end the vlog on this rant, but I needed it and he needed it. He needed to hear it. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy the video regardless. I'm sorry. It's just something that really bugs me and he's been doing it so much. And no matter how many times I block him, he just keeps coming back. So, if you encounter him, just report it, delete it, whatever you want to do. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. S -sub -sub subscribe. <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit that bell for notifications. And until tomorrow, bye.